As you all know, I started posting some videos again on my channel. However, when I wasn't posting videos, I was still doing some shopping. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from The Purple Alphabet, and even though I was not posting videos for a while, I was still shopping. I know, I'm bad. But I was hitting up the Dollar Tree, and I gathered everything up in a cumulative haul that I want to show you from a couple different stores, a couple different visits, so it's not like one time I found all these things. It was over a couple weeks. And I want to show you a shop with me. So I filmed a little bit in the store so you can come along with me because it's back to school time. And I don't know about you guys, but I... I'm not impressed with the Dollar Tree back to school right now. Last year was amazing. I feel like there was a ton of things there that were new and um, fresh and useful, but this year there was a lot of repeats from last year, which is great. But the new stuff, it just, I don't know, it wasn't there. What do you think? Do you guys feel the same way? You need to let me know your opinion because I just wasn't feeling it as much. But let me show you what I did find because I filmed a little bit of the back to school section. Okay, tons of back to school stuff and I am going to show you some things that I'm loving. If you need paper, now is the time to buy paper. I love these sketch pads. I use these all the time. They come with 40 in the pack, but also the construction paper. If you can find the half construction paper, that's my favorite. Manuscript tablets if you wanna practice writing all good finds. Now the binders, I do have to say, they didn't have the best selection of patterns. The colors were good, and I like these white ones with the pockets, but you can also find these cheaper at other places too. Not so sure what I think about these little pencil holders thing. Have you guys tried them? Let me know if they work, if they're fun. These I've seen everywhere on Instagram, and they are a great deal. Great caddy to hold art supplies. Highly recommend those. And then these magnetic holders are new. They're made of a plastic. I love the purple one. Last year they had some similar ones, but not this great of quality. The notebooks, you guys, last year I felt like there were so many better patterns than this year, so I'm gonna kinda give the notebooks a thumbs down as a whole, but there were a couple of cute ones here and there. You just had to look really hard for them. Last year they had this really great calendar that you can fit inside a binder. Love this, and you can take out the pages out of the pocket protector. And they also have a whole bunch of folders, but I really think you can find better deals on these too. Busy bag holders or school supply pouches, tons of choices on these. I don't know the quality on all of them, so make sure to check out the zippers so that they hold up. This one came with two. I also see the clear um, zippered pouches ones that we use for busy bags a lot in our house. That's a whole bunch of other different styles with patterns and colors. But like I said, just make sure you check that zipper to make sure it's gonna hold up a while or buy another one to have back up. There are a lot of pen choices too, more so than usual. I kind of was interested in these gel pens. And they also have these gel pens that I usually get at Daiso. I think they're the same brand, just a different packaging. I really, really like these. They had a few name brands such as Bic to be on the lookout for, but I also think you can find these at other stores for a little bit cheaper. Dry erase items are a hit right now too. Tons of dry erase markers. These have the erasers on the cap and they stick with a magnet onto your dry erase board. And they even have dry erase labels, which are always good to have on hand. These were new this year, the dry erase locker paper. Not sure if these really work well, if they're gonna stick to locker, but the patterns were super cute, especially like this one. These magnetic clips are perfect for locker too, to store things. I kinda like these purple ones. I almost bought them, I was really tempted, but I held back. You can also find a whole bunch of dry erase boards in all kinds of colors and different styles. They also come with a pen, which is cool. These don't tend to last very long, but if they definitely, for the price, serve their purpose. And then they also have these other dry erase boards that you could choose from too that have a little border around them. Much of this stuff I said, you guys, is the same stuff as last year or that they normally carry, so I didn't see too much that stood out. Even these little cases here are a duplicate from last year where you can store little doodads on each side of the pencil case. But one thing that I really liked from last year were these sliding pencil cases because you can store things like little games or cards or matching cards. Things from the Target Dollar Spot fit really well in here too. I used these a lot last year and I highly recommend them. And this year they look like they had some new patterns. I'm not sure if the calculators were here last year, but I felt like there were more this year, particularly the scientific calculator for a dollar. Does this thing actually work? Has anybody tried this? I need to know. They also had very large calculators 
calculators, all kinds of different sizes. If you have young kids, try a calculator. It really does keep them entertained for a while, pushing the buttons. A magnifying glass is great for sensorial play and looking at things up close. And these book rings come around every so often at the dollar store, and I highly recommend just grabbing some to have on hand. You can clip together busy bags, you can make books, lots of different purposes for these. So if you see these, just grab a pack so you'll have it. Scissors are also a great score at Dollar Tree because they do have name brand, the Westcott brand. Just keep an eye out for them. They are there in different kinds of sizes. Um, they even have the kid ones here. Great deal. I would probably stay away from the pencil boxes. I haven't had very good luck with them and you can find them for even a couple cents cheaper at other stores. If you do get them, just make sure that the clasp closes. If you're looking for post-it notes, they also have a really good selection of all kinds of different sizes and shapes. And let me tell you, the dollar store brand is just as good as the name brand, generally speaking. And then notebooks, these cute little pocket notebooks that are perfect for a purse or journal. I like to put them in my restaurant kit so my kids can doodle on them. The poly envelopes were just okay. I remember last year they sold two packs of ones that button, but those were my favorites. I didn't see those at my store this year yet. But then I also saw the new file folder accordion folders those are very very well done so if you need to organize something like receipts or coupons this is a good option and I like the colors that they have and also from last year were these tab dividers that just pop into your binder clips and you can tab your binder that was a little bit of the back to school section here are all the things that I hauled this past month a lot of back to school stuff learning stuff plus a couple of randoms that I mix in there too so I feel like I have a little bit of everything in this haul um, it is a mix of I Items probably over this past month because I haven't had a chance to kind of haul them for you some of these things I'm sure you've probably already seen out there these I got because I really like these reproducible packets that the Dollar Tree has these are fabulous in fact I might open one up I have two here because I have two girls and we just need some extra handwriting practice over the summer because skills tend to get lost as we go through the months let me open it here show you what they look like Sorry for the glare. Oh, so cool. Okay, so it looks like we have each letter per page. This is letter A, capital, lowercase, and a word where you can see the sample trace and then write it out. There's also a picture in the corner over here that you can color all the way through the alphabet. So those are pretty cool. They're reproducible. You can make copies of these or you can just buy another pad. <laughs> so I have two of those. And then I found these series of learning workbooks. Um, I keep these on hand, put them in restaurant kits, activities to do when we're on the go. I have, I think the whole series set that I saw? Ah uh, yes, okay, so these were the K through one books. Um, there are two each here. So I have the alphabet and beginning spelling book. These are full color workbooks and they have all kinds of different activities inside of them. And this one is numbers, colors, and shapes. The reason why I have two, if you don't know, I have two little ones, ages four and five, so. I get one for one, I get one for the other one. And then I have the next level up, which if they don't apply now to their skill set, then I will put them away for, light, for later. But when I was looking through it, I definitely looked like things that they could work on now with me. This one is grammar, vocabulary, and spelling. If anyone can tell me how the glue is, I would love to know. I've never tried the Jot brand, so I'm not quite sure if it's good stuff or not as the name brand. If you've had any experience, let me know before I break this open. I did stock up on the notebook, so um, tons and tons and tons of designs to choose from, but my girls just love just to doodle in these, write in them, notebook in them, um, and they're great to have for the price, if you ask me. So I have these two glittery ones, the blue and the pink, and then of course some holographic rainbow silvery ones. Those are my favorite. And then I have two pattern ones. One is the floral one with all the flowers and then the striped rainbow. Since we're talking about office supplies and back to school supplies, these were much different than what they had last year as far as magnetic holders. So this has a huge magnet on the back. They had these last year, but they were like a flimsy kind of poly material. These are an acrylic kind of plastic. So I'm wondering if these are gonna last longer. The other ones that I did buy last year just recently copped out on me. 
so they did last about a full year so I have two of these of course in purple and we're gonna see if they hold up for the following year they are a little bit smaller than the ones from last year though that was not a pro to buying these but I think they'll be a little sturdier now's a great time to stock up on paper products for art and all that kind of stuff I get the sketch pad that says 40 sheets in it it's good for using with markers or pencils or um, crayons and I also highly recommend the finger pen paper if you can find that they also have a really cool set of finger paint paper and my miscellaneous office supplies in the learning section you can get these dry erase erasers in all kinds of different shapes these are two shapes I don't have I have some from before a fish and a pencil I believe and on the back is just an eraser so these are just kind of fun the ones I have are kind of getting gunked up so I wanted to replenish those in a paw print and a flower these are my favorite sticky note pads they are larger than a regular post it pad and they work just as great as the name brand there's a hundred in each and there's about four different colors so I'm just stocking up on those because I use them for work and I go through them so quick and then I also have a magnetic board in my office although um, I did find some better cuter really cute purple magnets and I had to pass them up because I'd already bought these at another store and there's more in this pack anyway so eight magnets in there and then this was new it's a marbling kit I've seen a few people haul it or mention it when they did shop with me so I might try this in a summertime Dollar Tree toy test so if you're interested in that can you let me know down below and I will make sure to do that video I don't think they had these last year so I was really excited to see them they are the index card sets and they're spiral bound with 60 cards inside but they have these little dividers so you can actually pull out the dividers and chunk them out if you wanted to I had four different colors at my store I don't know if there's more out there but these would be great for using with CBC words or spelling or just making flip books or playing with so I thought you can have some really creative uses with those if you like blind bags I saw these in several different stores um, the littlest pet shop I have no idea what's in here but I have a whole little play basket in which I have little treats and rewards treats for when they do good so these are gonna go in there of name brand um, figurines for inside out so sorry more glare there so I was lucky enough to find the whole entire set of inside out which my children absolutely love these are I think just under $10 on Amazon so this is fear and I also found sadness which is a favorite in our house anger joy and then disgust. So very excited to find this whole entire set at Dollar Tree. Um, and the couple stores that I've been back to since, I have found a little bit of fear left, but I haven't seen the others. So um, keep a lookout for those if you're on the hunt for them. Really great deal, bargain, make great gifts. Now comes my miscellaneous section of Dollar Tree items. I got these little two pack of plastic Kind of potting they go underneath the pot but we're going to use them for our fairy gardens which is why i have a set of rocks here i bought a couple of these i didn't not showing them all but i have a couple of these bags of river rock stones so that we can make our fairy gardens with the figurines that we bought from a previous haul for um from the dollar tree so did get those so we can work on that as a summer project I haven't seen these before in any Dollar Tree except for one that I went to. They are actually belt hangers, there's two of them here. But I am going to use them in my closet. See how they have the different hooks there to hold the different belts? I don't wear a lot of belts, but I'm going to use this to hang up my spaghetti string tank tops in my closet. So if you have belts, it'd be great for that. Scarves, um, maybe even some jewelry if you don't have a lot of jewelry and you can hang it up right in your closet. So these were pretty cool for a dollar and they have that felt flocked lease on them I guess that's what it's called um, so I thought that was really really nice got a little colored gift tissue to go with all of these summer birthday parties we're going to these little candle holders I thought were really cute I saw some in silver as well but you put your little votive in here and they're decorative I was able to find some more of the Zach cups I had previously showed you these in Finding Nemo I finally found some in a different style some frozen ones and these are the Doc McStuffins ones Zach brand you can't go wrong that's a name brand and it's heavily reduced price for a dollar these are so much easier to clean than some of the other ones I've seen out there so always 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 see these sell out very very fast okay and I'm going to show you a whole bunch of beauty stuff but the first thing I'm going to show you from the beauty section are these hair rollers I think it was thrifted living um I believe so oh, I hope I got that right that was showing how to use these in her hair but then I also saw on Instagram how to use these in learning because they are bendy and twisty so I'm going to see if I can come up with some activities to use for these these are the extra long ones and there's six to a pack and if they don't work for learning activities well then we can curl some hair anytime I see the um, toothbrushes that are the 
electronic battery operated ones. Definitely pick those up. Now I see some in Doc McStuffin, so I got a couple of those um, to replace the ones that we already have. Bargain, bargain, bargain on those. This makeup line, the Beauty Benefits, I saw and I have never tried before. If you had any experience with these, let me know if you like any of these products. I'm trying three out of the several I found. This one is an eyeshadow trio. It's um, it's kind of a neutral brown palette. Then I have a sparkling lip gloss. I love keeping these in my purse for when I just need a quick touch up. And then the Volumizing Mascara, which I don't typically like dollar store mascaras, but I was, you know, in the mood to try it. If you had experience, let me know. I want to hear your opinions or if you know of any other Dollar Tree haul channels that do makeup reviews let me know but what I do have as favorites are these two the Revo lip balm always 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 a favorite this one is in cherry which is my favorite I've also tried the watermelon which was kind of good and then the utterly smooth lotion it's just a hand cream um, name brand just in a smaller package so you're definitely getting some great value on this this is really really good stuff all right so let me know what you think about the Dollar Tree's back to school items this year if you think it was a win or fail I'm siding on the, the fail side, the flop side, so you let me know what you think. Make sure to subscribe and to give me a thumbs up to show your love.